Welcome back. In this video, I wanted to go through how vPython handles vectors, and it has some neat vector math functions already built in. So let us first define a vector. So I will make a variable a, and it will be a vector. And let's say it has components one, two, and three. So that is how we define a vector. And the x, y, and z components are one, two, and three. And it is going to be stored in variable a. And then I can make a variable b. It'll also be a vector. And let's say it has components four, five, and six. And then I'll make a vector C, which is going to be A plus B. And then we will print C. And let's just make a prediction here, right? When we add vectors together, we get a third vector. And that third vector, the X component, is the sum of the X components of the original two. So it's going to be five, the Y components should be 5 plus 2, which is 7, and the z components is going to be 6 plus 3, which should be 9. So we should get 5, 7, 9 for our vector c. And we do. Great. Order of operations for, I'm sorry, order of addition for vectors doesn't matter. So if I do b plus a, we should get the same thing as before. Yes. Uh, if we do B minus A, right, that's going to be 4 minus 1, which is 3 for the X component. Y component's going to be 5 minus 2, which is also 3. And the Z component's going to be 6 minus 3, which is also 3. So we should get 3, 3, 3. And we do. If I switch the order and do a minus b, we should get the same vector, but it'll be negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. And we do. If I just wanted the x, if I just wanted the individual components of a vector, like just the x or just the y or just the z, then we can do like a dot x. And what that is going to do is that is going to now just print out the x component of a. And it's 1, right? a dot y will be 2. And a dot z will be 3. I can multiply a vector by a scalar. So maybe I wanted to double vector A. So I could say vector C is 2 times A. And then that should give us 2, 4, 6, which it is. You could take a vector and you can divide by a scalar. So if I did A divided by 2, that should give us 1 half 1 and 1.5. 1 half 1 and 1.5. Excellent. Uh, one thing we should know that you should not be able to add a vector and a scalar together. So if I tried to add two. If I try to do 2 plus a, I'm going to get an error. I can't add a vector and a scalar. But I can add a scalar to another scalar. So I could do something like uh, a dot x equals 2 plus 2. And then let's print out a, 
Right, so originally A is one, two, three, and then we're gonna take the X component and we're gonna set it equal to two plus two. So when I print out A down here, it should print out four, two, three. And it does. We can use this to have it we can use this to set up a calculator so it can calculate um, the magnitude of a vector and also the unit vector. And there's a lot of web assigned questions with finding magnitudes of vectors and finding their unit vectors. And you do have to know how to do it by hand, but after you've got that down, it can become kind of tedious. So you can set up a VPython program to do some of that grunt work for you and I'll show you how to do that. So to find the magnitude of a vector, let's set up another variable, let's call it a mag, because we want to find the magnitude of a. And we know to do that, to find the magnitude of a vector, we do the Pythagorean theorem for all three components. So we are going to do the x component of a, squared, and remember from last video, if you want to raise something to a power, you have to do star star two. And then we're going to add to that the y component of a squared, and then we're going to add to that the c component of a, and we're going to square that, and then we have to take the square root of the whole thing. And then if I print a mag, we should get a single value that is the magnitude of vector A. And there we go. And just to be clear, I will write the magnitude of A is, and then when we print, there it is, a nice, easy to read. could also find the, the unit vector for A. Let's call it A hat. And we know that to find the unit vector, we take the original vector, which in this case is A, and we divide it by the magnitude, which we already calculated on the previous line, and we call that A mag. So the unit vector is just gonna be vector A divided by a mag. And we saw earlier that you can take a vector and divide by a scalar, and that's exactly what we're doing here. We're taking vector a, and we're dividing by a scalar. So it is going to take the magnitude of a that we found before, that 3.7, and it's going to divide it into the x component, the y component, and the z component of the original vector a. And then I will print it out as well. This time it is the unit vector of A, and we are calling that A hat. And then when I run it, it will print out both the magnitude and the unit vector. And just for reference, how about we have it print out A as well? So we'll print out vector A, and then we can see the magnitude and the unit vector all on the same screen. So this 3.7 is about 4. So when we find the unit vector, it's going to be 1 divided by 4, which is about a quarter, and this is 0.26. And this is 2 divided by 4, which is about half, and we see we have about half here. And 3 divided by 4 is about 3 quarters. And this is 0.8, so we know that we did our calculation correctly. And we can also double check by finding the magnitude of the unit vector, and that should be 1. So if we did a hat 
mag, like we're going to find the magnitude of a hat, right? Then we're going to take the, like we did over here, except we're going to find the magnitude of a hat by taking the x component of a hat and squaring it, the y component of a hat and squaring it, and the z component of a hat and squaring it, and adding those together and then taking the square root. And then we'll print that out. And this is going to be the magnitude of a hat is, and we should get one. And sure enough, we do. Excellent. So this all works out. And that is how vPython handles vectors. Very, very handy. You can add vectors together. You can work with the individual components by putting a dot x, a dot y, or a dot z after the vector name. And you can multiply and divide by scalars. And then if you write a little code, you can figure out the magnitude and the unit vector. So I hope you find this helpful and go ahead and use it for the uh, web assign questions below and for the vector web assign. You'll probably find it helpful for that. Okay, see you later.